There is a brand new AI agent builder where you could build custom AI agents with very specific set of instructions completely for free. And I want to show you exactly how to use it in this video. If you come to this website right here, chat.mistral.ai, Mistral is a large language model, is by a French startup and is free to use. This chatbot is free to use and is powered by a large language model right now called Mistral Large 2. That's one of the models they have. They have other models, but this is the best one available right now. What they just released is this option right here, Agents. So if you click over here, it brings you to this page where you could create yourself custom agents and these agents could be powered by different AI models that Mistral has. So again, Mistral Large 2 is one of them. Now, what are these agents exactly? Right now, in the world of AI, we have two very popular AI agent builders. One is called Custom GPTs. So if you go to ChatGPT, this is one that I've built myself. In order to build them inside of ChatGPT, you need a paid version of ChatGPT for $20 a month, and you could build as many custom agents or custom GPTs as you want. So this one I'll show you in a second we'll use for this video. The other option you have is from Claude. So Claude.ai, another chatbot. And here you could also build these things called projects. So with projects, you could again build something that's very specific and with its own set of instructions. These are really designed for very specific tasks. That's why they're called AI agents. That's what they call them in Mistral. And this is a third version of that. So you have an option. I've made a ton of videos comparing custom GPTs. And the reason why I make many videos about that is because I think these AI agents or custom GPTs are the best parts right now in the world of AI. I use them more than any other tool and I've literally tested out about a thousand different AI tools. So let's go ahead and finish building this agent. Again, pick your model. I recommend large two. This temperature option has been around if you've ever done anything more customized. But the higher you go, this goes all the way to one, or you could bring it all the way to zero. And typically somewhere in the middle is where you want to be. Now, the closer to zero you go, the less random your output is going to be. And then if you go all the way towards one, it's going to be a lot random, a lot more creative. So you could just hover over. Lower value makes results more predictable. So the fact that we have this slider, this temperature slider here to control randomness, something we don't have anywhere else, unless it's more customized things that are more advanced for developers. Then you have your instructions where you could type in a system prompt. So a system prompt is something that you could give to ChatGPT, for example, at the account level. It's a custom instruction for the specific bot that I'm building. This AI agent is going to have a very specific system prompt. When you're using ChatGPT, if you're just regularly using it, you don't really know how they prompt it to talk to you in a specific way. Here, when you design these little agents, you could get each one to be different than another one, not just like a broad chat GPT or broad Mistral. So I built this custom GPT and it's available for free because you could build custom GPT and share it with people without a paid version. They could use it completely free. So here you could type in a basic prompt and I'll link this in the description and it will generate a custom instruction that I could paste over there. And I'll type in something simple. So my instruction is turn a single sentence into a LinkedIn post. And this is going to create a much more interesting prompt. You are an AI model designed to transform a single sentence into a professional LinkedIn post. So this is creating the prompt. This is your little prompt designer here. I'll go ahead and copy this right here. And let's go ahead and back to our agent builder and type in our system prompt over here, which by the way is optional, but the point of these is that you give it a system prompt so it follows your very specific set of instructions, talks to you in a certain way. You could give it a tone, you could give it a writing style, you could give it a reading level, all that could be part of your custom instructions. Again, I've made a ton of videos on this channel about how custom instructions work. Now, this is one of my favorite prompting techniques and it's available here as an option. It's called few shot prompting. So with few shot prompting, you could give the model an example. So you could tell it, hey, when someone puts this input, this is the ideal output that I want. So if you click this, it says what's the input and what's the output that you desire. So here's an example. So this agent, the purpose of this agent is I could give it a simple one sentence LinkedIn post and it will give me something far more detailed. So that's what the instructions I gave it. So I need to give it an example for input. So let's say if a post I was going to make just said AI education is crucial for preparing students for tomorrow's jobs. Eh, it's okay, right? I wouldn't probably post that on LinkedIn. 
So what would the output look like if I was giving this chatbot an example? It's learning from a very specific exa example and you could give it more than one. So I could give it something like this that's far more detailed here. Let me go ahead and extend this out a bit. AI is becoming a big part of our world and teaching it well is the key for getting students ready for the future careers. And th there's a bunch more here, right? And all I have to do is if I give it an example of the input and write the output that's a lot more detail, it's more customized to my writing style, it's going to use that as its set of instructions to give us an answer. And I usually like to give it one or two examples like this when I have this options for demonstration. Before, when I was teaching Claude in the project settings or if I was building custom GPTs, I would still give it this input and output example because few shot prompting is a great way to give instructions to these chatbots, but I was doing that as part of the system prompt. Now it has a different section for it inside of this Mistral agent builder. And that's pretty much all I have to do. And then I could go ahead and name this agent on top, LinkedIn post generator, and I could press deploy right here. And for my deployment, it lets you do it through the API. Again, that's for developers. But in our case, we're just gonna put LeChat. This is their chatbot over here. So I'm gonna deploy it there. Now, let me just point out the pricing here because if you deploy your agent, if you just press deploy here, you could use it for free inside of their chat. So inside of that first website I showed you, you could pick it, which I'll show you exactly how to find it and use it totally for free. Custom GPTs can't be built and used for free. You have to pay for them to build them. Claude projects, you have to pay to build them. Here, you could build them and use them for free. The only time you may want to pay is if you want to use their API. So if you're building some kind of AI app using this, then you'll need to pay because API is pay as you go and you will have to pay for that. Or if you want to test it out while you're building it on the right side, it's letting you test it out. That requires a subscription, but it's not a flat rate. It's pay as you go. And I'll set that up in this video as well. But for most of you, you could go ahead and build this AI agent. You could go ahead and deploy it. You could share it with other people and you could use it all for free. And in order to do any testing with it, by the way, it says it's grayed out right here because we need to set up a subscription. So let me show you exactly how that works if you decide to go this route. This does have a free trial. Again, I don't know if this is available in every country, but over here I could go ahead and activate it or I could just press subscribe over here. And the pricing is based on what model you choose in the very beginning. So some of them are very cheap, like some of these older models are very cheap. But if you use Mistral Large 2, you could see this one right here. It's $3 per million tokens on the input side, $9 on the output side. Just to compare this with GPT-4, for example, it's slightly cheaper. It's, a, I think, about half of GPT-4's newer model, somewhere around there. But it's not that far off, okay? So just so you have some idea if you were using the API on the... GPT side. Now, if I go back to the chat interface here, any agent I build, by the way, is going to appear just like this, and I could build other ones here. And over here, I could just type in this again, would be a simple LinkedIn post. And then I could go ahead and send this out. And it should use my set of instructions I give it for this very specific task. And as you could see, this was the LinkedIn post that I would have written. And it's making it again much more comprehensive based on my set of instructions and based on that few shot prompting, which was given an input example and an output example. And wow, this is <laughs> pretty involved here, but it looks like a LinkedIn post, right? Something like this would probably get a lot more engagement than something that's just a simple one sentence. A great way to optimize anything. And I usually like to use these AI chatbots for exactly this purpose, to remix content, to take simple content, make it much better. And I use this across all the different social medias that I post to, or even for newsletters and email copy too. And I recently made a video comparing Claude projects to custom GPTs too. So those are your two other options. This was a new one that I wanted to add to the mix, but I recommend you watch that next. Some of those have better options that this doesn't have, including a way to upload your own documents as part of your GPT, your own knowledge base. ChatGPT could do that. Claude projects could do that. This cannot do that yet, which is a big, big limitation that hopefully they improve on. But I hope you found this useful and I will see you on the next video.